Yo, what's up guys? I'm back, Hero, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how I reroll for the character event character. Alright, as of recording, it's Klee, so how to reroll for Klee using an awesome and epic spreadsheet that I created for myself, and then I just want to share it to you guys because I found it really useful, and hopefully you guys too do too. Uh, I put it on my Discord server, so make sure to check out my Discord. Join my Discord. It's going to be there. I'll show you where it is in a while. So the link is in the description to my Discord server, so make sure to check that out. Once you are in my Discord server, I mean, once you follow the link in the description, you're going to be redirected to Discord, obviously. And once you are on Discord, you're going to go to the category blank hero, right? It's right here. Uh, if I do add roles in roles in the future, then you just go through that step first, uh, you know, welcome scene, uh, read the rules and whatnot. And then here in the drop down for this category, you're going to see the channel called free resources. All right. And then in this channel for your resources, you're going to look for the, uh, you're going to look for the file. So the link, so it's called Genshin Impact Account Manager version 3.1 shared by Black Hero, uh, hashtag Genshin Impact Sheet. And then you're going to click this link, which will redirect you to the Google Sheet that I created, which is really awesome. So this is the Google Sheet that I created. You can't edit on this because it's not yours yet, but we can fix that. See, it says here, right here, you are here. In order to be able to edit this, you're going to have to make a copy and save it to Drive. So you're going to, in order to do that, you're going to go here to File, Make a Copy. All right, save it to your Drive. You can rename it if you want and hit OK. And then when it's open, now you can make your edits. So beautiful. So here you can make edits and whatnot. And then if you ever you do stuff like this, it's going to show you like a heads up. Like if there's parts where I don't want you to edit, but you can still edit it. But you know, it's a warning that you might mess things up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's just a precaution. Precautions are good. All right. So once you're done here, you're going to go to step negative one, cheat account steps. You can overview this. This is the steps we're going to be going through in this video in order to complete the reroll reroll steps. There's like 65 steps. It's not that much when you think about it. All right. Then step zero, you can go here. This is character manager. Uh, it's really cool. You can manage your accounts here. This is this is the core of this Google Sheet. It's beautiful. I'll show you. Well, I'll teach you how to do it as we go on. That is how we're gonna roll here. So step one. All right, go to D column. Whoa, working on whoa W O. That is this. So you're gonna check this so that you're gonna that you can be sure that yes, you can start this that you're working on this this account right here. So this is where you start. All right. So step that's step one. All right, step two, create a Gmail address. You can go to this link, all right, so Google sign up. Then you can create your Gmail address here. So right here, we're just going to do, we're going to create your Gmail address. Once you reach the passwords part, I recommend you use LastPass password generator. So in order to do that, it's actually here. You just go to uh, this sheet right here. Okay, that's fine. And then you go all the way here to where it says passwords. Then you just click password and then there's a link and then here's a password generator. I think 15 is fine. 15 is normally good. Just do all characters. Copy paste this. All right. Hit no things. And once that's copied, you're good. So perfect. Then you go here and no, you go back to here. Then you paste the password. Then you just hit next to confirm then you're done you're good you've created your gmail account uh you it might ask you to add a phone number which is optional all right but if it does ask you because you know there's only a certain limit that you can use this method then it actually asks you you're required to make your to add your phone number then you do that and then your optional <clears throat> email address then your birthday and your gender so once you're done with that hit next it's really straightforward then here's the privacy terms just hit i agree and then it's going to bring you to there. You have successfully created your email address. Then you go to the top right here and then you just copy that email address. And then once it's that once you're done copying it, you paste it on the spreadsheet right here where it says email account or user name. So that that's beautiful. So once you're done with that, right, you're going to go back to the account steps and then you are now on step three. You're going to create your MiHoYo account. Okay. So this is your MiHoYo account. You copy the email address here that you also made and then you're going to send a verification code. All right. The same, you're going to use the same password you did last time. So hopefully you still have that. So right here, copy, no thanks. All right, so for the passwords, I recommend that you also place them here where it says passwords. Hit OK. You're not going to be able to see it because it's hidden. You know, just password should be. Then you're going to go to account 
steps. Once you copy your password, you paste it here. It says it's medium. That's fine. It, it, that's medium. That's good enough. Then here, once you, you know, you have your registered email, you're going to send a code so that you're going to receive a code. Then you go to your Google account. Then you go to this part right here. Then look for Gmail. Then you should receive uh, an email from MiHoYo for the verification code. All right, so right here it says no reply. My verification code is uh, this. So that's seven. You're gonna do that. Copy paste it here. Then you're just gonna hit register. Then you're gonna save. And then here you go. Nicknames cannot be changed. So you're gonna create a nickname. So for this account, we're gonna go with Ayaka. We're gonna go with Ayaka. Then after that, you're gonna hit submit. Then you're gonna go here. You're gonna do a check in. You're gonna go to account info. You're gonna edit. This is how I do it. You don't have to necessarily do it. I, I like customizing things. Then you're gonna look. Or Ayaka right here you're gonna go female cuz she is you're gonna hit a save right and then you know you can log out create more email addresses or just continue on with this process then after you have an account you go back here and then you make sure to add the mihoyo nickname here so that's important too because we're going to be using that later and while you're here you can also choose the server for us for this video we're going to choose asia because you know that's where the lowest ping is i highly recommend wherever you are choose the proper server because you know ping the smaller it is the better the better all right so next we're gonna log in to genshin impact so first things first you're gonna want to copy your email address so by now i expect that you already have genshin impact installed on your pc or whichever you for it's like this because i have borderless gaming it's an application that actually makes the border because you know i have an ultra wide monitor and it's i i play in 1920 by 1080 so that i have space for chat when i do live stream so that's why it's like this and i like it borderless so after that you're going to enter your email or your username since you know it's only email address now you don't you can't create usernames anymore from scratch then you're gonna enter it here so copy and paste your email then you add your password right here like so then you start the game then you're gonna be logged in then you're gonna hit agree then you're gonna hit start game all right so once you hit start game it's gonna you know welcome you to uh, to Genshin Impact, the doors will open. Then you hit click begin. Then after that, you go back to the spreadsheet. Then here, if you want to, if you want to monitor how long it takes to make it the game, you can do Control Alt Shift. This key, then it's gonna hit your time started. So right now it's October twenty five at nine in the morning. Then after that, you go back to account steps here, right? Oh yeah. So then you're gonna copy the traveler name. So the traveler name we're going to go for this is Lumen and then you go back here and then you do this and then you do that so that we can see the steps and everything and it's perfect and then there we go. Alright so beforehand you can decide what the name of the character you want to be to be so that's up to you. It's up to you. All up to you. It's all you. All you. And then here you're gonna choose your character. So it's up to you. They say it, you know, it is probably true that Aether here, yeah, he's probably faster to play with if you're rerolling. But in my recommendation, just choose the character you want to play endgame with. So it's either Lumen or Aether. So in my case, we're gonna go with Lumen and then we're gonna type in Lumen and because <laughs> that's her name. You can choose your name, you know, blank hero, whatnot, then hit confirm. And then from here on out, we're just doing the AR7 reroll method. This is where things just start. So this is, it's pretty much the same from what everyone does. Yeah, except I have, you know, some different variations here and there. We're going to go through that as we go along making this account. So it's going to be beautiful. I have my steps here advanced. So we're going to, you know, we're, we're done with step eight, paste traveler name. Then we're going to travel with Paimon right after that. And then we're going to just enjoy another reroll session an estimated time of arrival we'll be around 33 minutes or we'll see how fast we can get this done all right we already did and input our time like the god took away my brother my brother some kind of seal was cast upon me it was cast and upon i lost me. my power oh man she must be so whilst we used to cross i really think world, the traveler is op we she... are now trapped here i bet i bet she's op that she has to be. Then here we How go. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? 
We're doing English. English is cool. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paima really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paima likely would Yeah, you can't skip this. You can't skip this. You just can't. Unfortunately. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get going. All right, and this is where you can start doing stuff. All right, let's actually we're recording 19 minutes in. Good. All right, get the game. Go. All right, so you don't have to do this. You can just go directly and just run, sprint. It'll disappear. You know, use the scroll wheel. I don't want to, but you can if you do. But we're not gonna. We're we're going for efficiency and time. We're gonna maximize everything as much as possible. So just follow along and see if you can beat my time. All right. It's not. I've done this. I'm like probably this is my 71th time doing this. So I have experience making reroll accounts. All right. I'm not as OP as others. So we're gonna go behind this rock because it's actually faster to go here. Make sure you have stamina to climb that rock. Perfect. Yes, Paimon. Yes. All right, you're gonna go through this edge right here, so that it triggers the quest. Yes, yes, Paimon. The first one. All right, then Paimon's here. Yes. Wow. Wow, Paimon. Wow. Then here's another cutscene. You can't skip. You can't skip this cutscene. So we are now still on step nine. We're gonna travel with Paimon. And then we're gonna meet Amber soon, so yes, it is. You can skip this. All right, remember, we're going for we're doing a speed run here. We're doing a speed run. We're trying to go as fast as possible. Click right, then you're gonna go here. Just go straight here. Then Paimon should catch up. Nope, did not catch up. All right, that's a mistake. There we go. Always make sure that Paimon is in front of you. Or just within screen, like right here, you know? Because if you lose her on screen, then she'll just stop and then it's like, Whoa, hold up. Where are you? Why, why, why aren't you behind me? Alright, you have to follow me. I know, where I, I know where we're supposed to go. You don't know where we're supposed to go, even though you've played this scene so many times. <laughs> okay, so there's a technique here, you know, that, that you just, you know, dash, jump, and then right click RMB. It's faster, maybe. Saves you one second, probably. I don't know. Another cutscene. You can skip. You can cut through this. Well, it's not a cut. It's a cutscene of a scene, and then you can go into dialogue. So yes, yes, Lumen. Touch, touch it, touch it. Remember, you can change the name of the character later after the game. So you know, I highly recommend you just stick with Lumen or Aether. It's easier that way. Or whichever end game name you want, so you don't have to change it in the. But you know, just so you know, you can change it. All right, I don't know if they're gonna change the fact that you can change it in the future. So hit escape when you hit the map, so that way you escape easily. Then you know your adventure rank too. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I think I know. And then, so we're gonna go west. We're going west. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the mighty west, the wild west. All right, so hit E. I missed. Seriously, I missed. Okay. You're not supposed to miss, but I missed. Alright, then this one, when there's two, you hold E. And then after that, when the four slimes appear, you hit Q. Okay, good. Then after that, you jump from this rock, you dive, you swim. You swim to this rock. Make sure you don't drown. So, it does happen. It does happen. Alright, so you're gonna sprint here once or twice, then you're gonna follow this rock, you're gonna slide down here, you're gonna open this chest, press F, spam F, don't lose momentum. Then from here on out, you're gonna sprint as fast as you can, because you're gonna still go to a cutscene where Storm Terror or Dvalin goes over you. Continue running, don't stop running, just keep your, keep your finger, your middle finger on W. Then here, you jump here. So this is a technique I do that most people don't do i think or i haven't noticed do so yeah you're gonna go here you're gonna climb this rock right here and then there should be a chest behind these bushes right here so this is the second chest you're gonna pick up and then it's gonna go into cutscene it's gonna trigger the next cutscene where you meet venti and storm terror so you can't skip this so yeah just enjoy after this, we're going to be going to step 10. We're going to be meet Amber. Then we're going to do the monster camp. Then we're going to teleport to Cooking Waypoint. So we're going to be doing that next. After, you know, after this cutscene. So enjoy. Enjoy this cutscene. 
Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> You know Venti's OP when you see him talking to a dragon, right? And by the way, Venti's a boy, a, f a f boy. All right. If you did, if you mistook that in the first place, then I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All right. So you can skip this. You can skip this. You can click whatever. Click the first option. It's the fastest. Maybe we're gonna pick up the shiny big rock. The shiny big rock. I right, go here, climb, jump, sprint, jump, F. See, it's fast. Here, right? it's the sprint jump. You got, you're gonna master the sprint jump eventually. Best we put it away for now. Yes, okay. put it away. All right, next we're gonna go here, jump down here, or not jump, and then jump, sprint, jump here. We're gonna go get this chest right here. Skip. All right, so yeah, these these th items that are here, you don't have to get them yet. All right, you can always double back on them if you want. All right, now we're gonna meet Amber. We are now in step ten, meeting Amber. Hi Amber, nice to meet ya. Perfect. God Perfect. You, thank you, thank you. Skip. you. Skip. Like skip. Skip. So when there's this, you, that's when you know you can skip. So hello, I'm Newman. Like this, so yeah. this part, this part. You always, every single time, emergency food. Hey, that's even worse than Just because about. she is so cute. All right, then after so that, skip. So Skip, skip. Alright, just there. skip. And now. Then boom, boom. And. Boom, boom. Duh. And that. And skip. Alright, and then after that, prepare two. Hit two. Hit two. R. Hit. R. Then run. You don't have to do that. Just open this chest. Go straight to this wagon. There's a broken wagon. There's another chest. You can open this chest from the outside like that. Boom. You run this way, over this rock, then sprint jump, so you don't have to climb that. Get your stamina, gain your stamina back. Here, sprint, oh, okay, sprint, sprint, jump, aim for that, and then here, open this. Perfect, so once that's open, you run this way, hold down, alright, get close, get close, R, hold, hold, then hit, switch, lumen, E, long press, switch, switch to amber, that's two. Alright, then R, you're gonna hit this guy right here, switch, good, he gets knocked down, you gotta knock him down, right here, hold E, everyone will die right away, open this chest, then good, easy, good job, nothing to it, nothing to it, really fast, really fast, thank you, yes, my moves are epic, epic moves, so that's monster camp, don't see exactly, but because skip, 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 skip. Everyone can skip. We usually end up with at least a so these annoying exactly. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Alright, after this you're gonna hit M. M. Alright, you're gonna teleport to this waypoint that you just unlocked. Alright, and then you're gonna run and you're gonna cook. We are now heading over to step eleven. Alright, so we're gonna investigate this chest. It's gonna give you some fowl and some mushroom. That's gonna get triggered, so pick that up. You're gonna cook first. All right, this is in everyone's tutorials. All right, you're gonna stop right away. Press escape, and then you're gonna talk to Lin right away. Don't scare her. Then just yeah. After this, you're gonna have to talk to her again, and then at this point, you should be okay. So that's that's what her name is, Lin. That's okay. I already got it. I already got it. I already got it. I'm good. All right, then we're gonna talk to you again because we already cooked it. Perfect. It smells so good. It smells so good. You like it, right? Right, Lin? You like my skewers? Tastes really good? You're welcome. Paimon, leave some for Paimon. She's gonna want some. Alright, you're gonna be a Adventure Rank 4. Congratulations. If you are not Adventure Rank 4 at this point, then you did something wrong. It's not that hard. Alright, you're gonna want to sprint to Mondstadt. So that's step 12. We are now on step 12. We're going to go sprint to Mondstadt to meet up with Amber. Actually, you can also do this where you sprint, jump. Then it's going to trigger a achievement. Depends. Normally, it's 15 seconds. But yeah. If you do that from the start, then there. See? 
going upon a breeze unlocked. All right, so now we are now on step 12. Mondstadt, meet with Amber. Then we're going to go to step 13. We're going to go to the Mondstadt. We're going to do the Amber glider skip, and that, which is teleporting to a waypoint, and then Storm Terror. And then after that, we're going to do Kaya. We're going to meet Kaya on the top of the, you know, the, the cathedral front part. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Gene. Gene. Sounds impressive. Welcome. Why doesn't Paimon get reward? What? I love sticky honey rolls. I love sticky honey rolls. Alright, for this, you're gonna hit J, escape, and then sprint. Alright, that's all you need to do. J, escape, sprint. You don't have to use your mouse to click anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, you're gonna go here. You're gonna sprint, jump, and then jump, and then you should be able to climb that. Hit F over there. You're gonna go this way. Then you're gonna jump this way. Climb up a little bit, then jump. Then boom. Easy, right? Easy. Alright. Skip, jump. And then, ah, you should have stamina here. So make sure you save your stamina here so you can skip, jump. I mean, skip? Why is it skip? Sprint! A sprint jump! Sprint, sprint. And then jump. Alright, so here you're gonna wanna save your stamina. I don't know why it automatically goes into sprint mode. Okay, so do this. Here. So you should be an expert at this mode at this point. Alright, so you gotta save up about like you know 80% stamina here. You're gonna wanna climb this. You can spam the the jump button. You should make it to the top. Exactly to Mundo. Alright, now we are here. This is the glider. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's the heart and soul of Mondstadt. It is the heart and soul. Alright, so here's the technique for this one. You're gonna hold W, space, back, M, then here. Okay? You're gonna teleport here. Teleport right there. That's it. It's, the fa it's faster than gliding down. Way faster. Then you do this, jump, then talk to Amber. And then we are now on step 14. We're gonna. It's a storm terror scene. Cutscene. You can't skip this. All right. You can't. You cannot skip this. The sky. The sky is blue. It's dark blue. It's gray. And storm terror arise. This dragon. This sixth wing dragon. That is furious and mad. And. We don't know, maybe misunderstood. You know, with scales of diamonds and everything and whatnot. He summons forth whirlwinds, destroying all that is in his way. Lumen gets dragged up into the sky. Good thing Amber gave her a glider, saving her life. But then, Storm Terror passes by. Oh, Amber! Amber is scared for Lumen, but good thing she got caught up in a wind, and and then now we must defeat this storm tower. The storm tower. I don't know. Nope, that's Venti. <laughs> I think. There you go. This is fairly easy. You just hit right click. I mean left click, and then you just aim. For Storm Terror's behind <laughs> or his back is probably a better, you know, anywhere. You don't don't aim for the wings. I'm like, you can, but it's a small, small surface area right there. That's big PP right there. It's big PP damage right there. So you do that, and it's it's pretty straightforward. I could even do this with my eyes closed. Right? Is my eyes closed? No? Okay. Then just before you're about to defeat him, he gets mad, right? And then he just disappears. All right, and then oops, Storm Terror has escaped, has teleported away. All right, then after this, we're gonna be talking to Kaya. So we are now on step 15. See, we're running through these steps really fast, beautifully, beautifully fast. Amber is gonna be all worried. I'm like the cutscene here with it, with Aether and Amber. No, it's, it's adorable. I'm like ah, you can ship them. You ship them at this point. But then when, when it's Lumen and Amber, I'm like, oh, cool. They're best friends. And then, yo. Yo. Kea. I'm like, he's so cool. I'm like, if we're playing this game for the first time, he's so cool. 
Are you an ally? Oh, you so oh, so cool. All right, you can skip this. <laughs> yes. Hold on it. Oh, right. This is Kaya. Hey. These two are hey, Kaya. From afar. Uh, from afar. From afar. From afar. And then another cutscene right here. More, more talking. You can skip this. Really skip. Sure, but everyone has <laughs> and then choose the first option so that it's faster. On this one. Fight, if you take the second right. option, you're gonna get honey roast. All right, we are now on step 16. All right, you can change your glider. Don't change your glider. All right, you're gonna want to do this. You're gonna go to the waypoint up there, so you know this part by now, probably. If not, then you can glide this way. Then you know you can probably breathe here. Make sure you have full stamina, cause this is a long climb. There might be a faster way to climb this, but this is how I do it. All right, so when you're at that point, all right. So when you're at this ledge, this this ledge right here, jump. All right, you can make it. You'll make that jump. All right. It takes practice, but you'll get you'll get used to it. You'll get hanged. All right, so jump here, perfect. Jump, jump. Then when you're in the red, that's when you just start, you know, climbing like you normally do. Then jump here, boom, and then teleport waypoint. Good. Then here you sprint, jump, don't glide. Then you will do a roll in luxurious chest. Ooh, that's a good sword. All right, we're gonna apply that later. Perfect. And then you go here this way. And then open this common chest. You can pick that up if you want. Then you sprint, jump, and then glide here. Then you can sprint or turn this way. Let's head in. Let's head in. All right. So we are now going to be talking to Jean and Lisa. Then when you're done with that, when you're done with this cutscene, you're going to be adventure rank five. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean. I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over... I... Alright, now you can actually start skipping stuff. And then, you know, Jean's gonna talk. You. Yes. Jean. Hi, Jean. Hello, Jean. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. Ball in the paws of a kitten. My skin is one elemental. If it, we simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. All right. Yes, Paimon. Good. Good Paimon. Good Paimon. Paimon is really good. Is that so? Is it so? Is it so? Is it really so? It is so. <laughs> Paimon doesn't. We'll ask later. All right, Paimon. We'll ask later. The storm is rampant. All right. All right. Next, we're gonna teleport to Amber Dungeon. Basically, the waypoint closest to Amber Dungeon. Amber Dungeon is. You know where Amber Dungeon is, right? All right. So press M. Amber Dungeon, right here, teleport waypoint. Alright, and then the first thing you do when you arrive at this waypoint is you're gonna hit C. Alright, this is optional, you can change the weapon. It increases the speed by which you complete the game faster. So we did get that sword, so you can equip this. Then do the same for Amber. Always guaranteed 100% you're gonna get the sword, I mean this bow. Alright, the sword that Lumen got is not 100%. Then you do a 180 degree here to your left. Sprint, jump, don't glide. It's faster to actually just sprint or walk. Then, then after here, Amber is right here. Do this. This is it. This is it. These temples. You're welcome. Storm terror. Yes. All right. So you can skip all this. Skip, skip this. Skip this. Then do this. And then you just sprint to the dungeon. You can swap to Amber right away so that there's two Ambers in one scene, which is funny. <laughs> okay. Then hit start and then hit start. Easy, right? Easy. It's easy. So easy. So we are now on step 19. All right. So now that you're Amber, all right, you open this. Do R. Hold R so that you already charge your bow. Then you do this. Then here. Yeah, that's going to do that. At least by the time you're done with this, you can sprint here. All right. So here's the first shortcut. There's, there's this chest here. You can do it from the wall. Then you go back, sprint, jump, then glide, then jump down, okay? Jump down. See? It's that easy, all right? You'll get a hang of it. If you mess up the first time, that's perfectly fine. All right, you hit R for this, hold this, then R again, E, long press, E, then switch to, do E, 
put that there, open this chest. Alright, people open the chest there, but I don't. I just hit these guys. Normally when I do hit them, that, yeah, but then that's why you put that in if you miss the first shot. Hold down R here, hit this chest, wait a bit, like 3, 2, 1, alright, open, open, go, Q, switch to Lumen, that's fast, you can switch to Amber, hit this guy, open this chest, R, hit this, alright, good, and then you're gonna sprint here and open your glider fast, okay, so easy, right? So that way you skip the cutscene here. And then there's another technique right here where you can actually hit that crystal really fast. So once you drop down, you go, you hug this railing, right? You do W jump, then R. Then you hit this, okay? So you're gonna wanna practice that. Really, really easy. It's where it's coming from. It is where it's coming from. Alright, so there's gonna be a chest here. I recommend you get the stuff inside. It only takes, what, two seconds to get? So you do that, get the chest. This is a this is a precious chest, so there's only two items, it's not that much. Then leave the domain. Alright, so then after ooh, cancel. Alright, so after see that's why I did that. Uh teleport so to, 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 to. we are now on step. What what step are we on? Uh path to statue of the seven. Alright, so we go left this way. Perfect. Hold R here. You're gonna hit this chest so that you can open it when you when you get there, and yeah, we're gonna be picking up two Oculus. So scroll down F so that you don't actually have to pick up the mint. The mint is there for a reason. For a reason. Okay. <laughs> you wanna jump this? Hit R. You're gonna hit this. These guys. Normally, if you're really good, you can get these done really fast. Open this exquisite chest. Jump. Open lighter. Pick up the first Oculus. Consolidated wing things. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Right, right there. Jump those slimes. Then you're gonna get your second Anamaculus rat here. I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Race me there. I'm, I'm already here. Amber's are. You can switch. Yeah, you can switch to Lumen at this point. There. Just hit one. Perfect, because it's going to do a cutscene and you're going to switch to Lumen anyway. Once this map opens, just hit escape really fast. And then hit this. Then you're going to worship the statue. That's number. We're in a step 21. Offer all. Offer it all. Just offer it all. Then after that, we're going to take the path to Lisa's dungeon. We're going to pick up three Anomoculars on the way. Guaranteed. And then there's a shortcut here. I'll show you that to guarantee 100% pick up the Anomoculars there. Without, you know, without having to look up. Alright, so you go here. You climb this tree from that ledge. Then there's going to be a rest point right here. So you can rest here. Walk to this part here. And then look up, look up. Wait for stamina to be full. And then you hold W and D at the same time. So you jump forward and right. You pick up this Anomoculus right here. You jump here and then glide. And then they're going to pick up the second Anomoculus right there so you're gonna do this drop down pick up this one then just in front of this hold e then jump up then there that's perfect then go through this rock then behind the fence it's faster if you go behind the fence if they're in the way just jump don't don't mind them also beware of a hog there's gonna be a hog here that might hit you right like like that see Every time, 9 out of 10, the hog will hit you, so be careful. And then you sprint, you sprint as fast as possible, and then there's going to be slimes here, just dodge them, make sure you have stamina to dodge them. Alright, so here's the, here's a, here's a tip, here's the trick. Alright, you see this rock here, and then this here, you stay, you stay behind between those, in this perfect spot, then you just double step, double jump, and glide up. Don't touch anything, just glide up, and you will 100% guaranteed pick up the Anomaculus there, and then... Once you pick it up, you glide to Lisa. Alright, you just go, you know, Lisa's waiting for you. You gotta talk to her. So that is now step 23. We're gonna do the Lisa dungeon. And then, we're gonna do the Lisa dungeon skip. I have a 100% way to actually do that too. Alright, so we're gonna do that. So what does it leave? Yes, okay, good. Good, perfect. Then we go here, we open this. And beautiful! Alright, start. 
and start again. Then you're gonna run to Lisa and it's gonna be beautiful and wonderful. Alright, so sprint here, you are now adventure rank 6. You're gonna talk to Lisa once. Huh? I guess I could give yeah, give it a go. You're gonna be Lisa now. Congratulations. You jump this, skip this right here. Perfect. If you can master that, you'll do it faster. I don't break these. People do. I just Let's jump this wind current, shall we? right here. It's slower, but it's faster. I don't know. Here's a wind current. You jump this. Alright, so we're going to be doing the Lisa skip. The Lisa dungeon skip. Alright, so here you go this. Pick up this chest here. Alright, what I do is I take a round up way, you know, just going to wind up. Alright, you see this You see this diagonal line here, this second line here. You want to run to that. And then you sprint jump here. And then you open your glider. So we're going to do that right here. So you do this. Run, skip, jump. Then open your glider. Alright. 9 out of 10, you'll make it. Alright. Like we are right now. So hopefully you guys can master that. And perfect. Always aim for that ledge right there. You wanna know about this and then right here, right here, you can skip jump. Right here, open this. Do this. And this. And that. Gain your stamina back. And then double jump. Depending on the... Alright, so in this case, we're just gonna glide directly here. It's gonna trigger the... That. What is it called? The resurrection activated. And then you drop down. And then, once you drop down, you can actually just, you know, you resurrect from there, and then you just go here. And then there's gonna be a cutscene here that you can skip. You just have to be fast about it, but you know, you don't have to, you can take your time. So you hit this twice, open this chest, you can even pick up the chest here. I'm like, see, there's still enough time, then you leave domain. So you don't really have to rush it if you want to skip this cutscene. You can like, you know, probably like, breathe for two seconds. Three seconds? Nah, 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 don't be. Alright, then you switch to Lisa if you want. Because she's taller, that means she's faster. Then you get this Anomoculus. Be, be careful of that hog. And then you just press M once you pick it up. Teleport to this. Uh, to this dungeon right here. So we are now on step 26. See how fast that was? Alright, you can switch to Lumen. I don't know why, but you can. Worship statue. Then at this point, you should have five Anomoculus. Then you should uh, there now we are now adventure rank seven congratulations that is step 28 you should be exactly all right zero out of there you go see perfect perfect zero out of 1075 see how efficient we are we are exactly adventure rank seven so that is why i like i'm like i like i like my 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 way my way all right then next after that we're gonna do step 29 teleport to mod stat then we're gonna talk to Catherine for the ar5 rewards you can pick up ar7 rewards but you can do that later all right you don't you can save one second if you don't pick up the ar6 and ar7 rewards so here's Catherine. at astra abyss claim adventure rank rewards claim one escape 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 and then escape then escape and then thank you. Then after that, you hit G. You claim all these. You get Primo Gems from here. I'm guessing 15, if I'm correct. 13, all right. And then after that, you press F5 to do the Seize the Day. All right, you can pick this up. You can do the test run. That's optional. I'm going to bring this up again later. Then after that, you're going to press Escape. Go to Achievements. All right, normally if you get a four star artifact or weapon, you can pick that up here, but you didn't this time, it's random. And you can claim this for 15 Primo Gems, which is perfect. And after that, you're gonna go to mail, not shop, not shop. You're gonna go to mail, right? And then you're gonna go claim all. You wanna claim it all, I'm like, if you wanna get rid of this. So as of this recording, you can get this, which is an extra 100 Primo, ooh, that's cool, day three. So yeah. That's awesome. You get more Prima Gems. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but as of this recording, that's the amount of Prima Gems you will get. Then after that, you wanna go to this shop, right? The shop right here. And then you're gonna go all in. So Paimon's Bargain, all in on Intertwined Fate. So right now we have 226.8. So you can do 14 extra inter extra pulls on the Klee Banner. So we're gonna purchase this, all in. So once we're done with that, all right, so we're gonna teleport to the highest point in Mondstadt. This this teleport waypoint right here. This is how I do it. All right, you can you can roll right away, or choose not to. But for me, we're gonna go to the cathedral. There's a luxurious chest there that's waiting for you. 
Alright, it's gonna be beautiful. Perfectly beautiful. Perfectly splendid. Alright, you jump this. Teleport. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna go to the luxurious chest. That's step 36. Alright, we're gonna climb. Alright, so if at this point you're re-rolling to save your re-rolls for a future character like for Xiao or for Zhongli or Shilde, then you want to skip the next steps, steps 39 and forward. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. So that, oops, can we make it? No, we can't. Alright, so, but if you're re-rolling for Klee, then you continue with step 39. Alright. Okay, so yeah, I'll, well, I'll... I'll summarize that again later. So I'll climb this part right here, right here. This is easy. You can you can rest here. That that makes it faster. If you didn't know that, so you can jump here and it's also faster. All right. So you now are at the luxurious chest. Do not open this yet, okay? Do not open this yet. I want to show you something. All right. So yeah, this is account seven. So you, if you want to skip, I'm like if you wanna if you wanna if you're waiting for the next banner, you can skip step 39 to step 56 you can go directly to step 57 all right timestamps in right here to to skip to step 57 all right if you're gonna re-roll right now for the current event character event banner current event wish then follow along with me all right beautiful all right so we are now going to open the luxurious chest all right press f3 do the noeli banner right away how exciting! Alright, perfect. Alright, so next, after doing that, you know, normally you skip, but you can watch the animation. Can we get an awesome something? Actually, wait, let me just double check that we're recording. Alright, cool. And then do this. Beautiful. And then, oh, of course, you're gonna get Noelle. Guaranteed. Can we get another 5 star? Nope. Okay. Hit escape. Then do this. Go to the Klee banner or the current character event wish banner, whichever it is. You can do singles or multis. In our case, we're going to do multis twice. So that's step 41. You can skip this right away. Oh, we got Xiang Ling and Xing Chu. Beautiful. All right. We're going to do step 42. We're going to do another multi right here. Do a 10 wish. Boom. Shakalaka. And then, and pray that it turns gold. If it's not, you can skip. We got another, we got a dupe of Noelle. That is beautiful. You hit escape. Hit escape again. We're going to go through the shop. Paimon's bargain, Stardust Exchange. You, have, you should have more than 390. Then here it says, buy four acquaint fate. You only need four. Don't buy five. You only need four acquaint fate. If you have extra, right, Stardust, buy as many intertwined fate as you can. In our case, it's one. Maybe it's going to be the same for your case if you're following this step process. And then press F3. Do another multi on the Novice banner, the Noeli banner. And pray it turns yellow. If it doesn't, you can skip. Confirm. We got Bado. Badu. Badim. Badu. Alright, and then after that, you do Kali banner. You do singles because you can't do multis anymore. Then you just... Just maybe. Just maybe it'll turn yellow. I wish... That it turns yellow at this point if you're re-rolling creating you want you want this to turn yellow oh we got we got pity what are we getting official we got the sacrificial greatsword yeah these are up to these are up to okay beautiful let's keep on doing singles until we get something good maybe just maybe imagine if we can get a cleat that would be just beautiful come on turn turn yellow turn yellow you gotta you gotta you gotta wish you gotta, you gotta wish that it turns yellow. But you still have a chance, alright? You still have a chance. Do not worry. Because you're gonna go escape, escape, shop, Paimon's Bargain. You should have enough star glitter. I mean, star dust to buy two intertwined fate, or depending on your RNG. And then hit F3 and you still have two more. Perfect. Perfect. So we are now on... Step 50, Klee Banner again, do singles because you can't do nothing else. Hit escape, we have one more, and then go to Paimon's Bargain. Oh, we got Pity, what are we getting? Who are we getting? We got a dupe of Xing Chu, okay. Then after that, you go back to Paimon's Bargain, so that's shop, that's step 51. Here, you should have enough for one last... Uh, <laughs> This, maybe not, may, it depends on your RNG. So we have one more roll. And then beautiful, hit F3. And wish me luck. 
Good luck. Perfect. No. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got a sword. So yeah, we didn't we didn't get a five star this time around. And there's also one thing I forgot to mention. If you do want extra prima gems, again, you can go to mail. You can do a survey here. Where is it? There. You get 50 Prima Gems if you do the Genshin Impact Player Preference Survey. And you can also get an extra 20 Prima Gems if you do the test run for whichever character is currently appearing. Which in our case, it's Klee. Alright, you can do that before you open the chest. Alright, next step, we're going to do a character check inventory. So we're going to do C. Might as well, right? Might as well. Alright, and then after that, you can do this full screen. Then go here to Character Manager. That's what we made this for. All right, boys and girls. All right, so we got Noelle. Noelle here. So you just hit Noelle. You can do constellation. How many constellations do we get? Two, one. All right, so you can add a note here if you want. So just right click, hit note. Just put one. If you want, it's up to you. You can skip this part. Again, Bedo. We got Bedo. Bedo right here. So you just double click an arrow and check mark will appear. We got Xingqiu and we got constellation on Xingqiu as well. So hit that, add a note, hit one or two, I don't remember. And then we got Shangling. Shangling is here, double click for this check mark, right? Right. And then that's that. And then the next step from after we do that, right, is uh wait, okay, so if I okay, five star check. Alright. You can do a five star check. But we didn't get a five star check. But if you did Right, if you did get a 5 star, you'd normally go here to where there's a star, right? You double click this and boom. This account has a star, alright? If you remove this, this will turn yellow saying that, oh, this is a 5 star account. But it's not. So we're not gonna add the 5 star to this. Boo hoo, alright? Unfortunate as it is, that is the state of rerolling, I mean, of gotcha right now. So anyway, after that hit escape, you are done. You're gonna copy the UID here. Then you're going to paste it right over here where it says UID. You're going to copy Mihoyo nickname, Ayaka. You're going to switch back here. You're going to go here and add it as a signature just for your reference. You don't have to do this. You can skip this as well. It's all up to you. And then after that, the next step is you're going to right, do a inventory check. So if you're watching this, right, you know, and then you skip to this part, you're going to save your rerolls. Then you want to do an inventory check so that you know where you are at. So you hit B. Then you go to inventory precious items. And then here on your spreadsheet on character manager version 3, you're going to do you're, you're going to do your accounting, your inventory. All right, normally you have like say 2400 prima gems. You'd have probably what 12 or you get 10 plus 14 so 24 intertwined fate and then you're gonna have like 12 acquaint fate if you bought nothing yet star glitter zero stardust zero then that that's it but in our case right we did roll first because we're rolling for Klee of whatever character that's currently going on so we have a different situation we have 38 prima gems we have zero intertwined, zero acquaint. We have six. Oh, we have six star glitter. Okay, we can actually do one more roll. So we're going to put this as one. All right, let's do one more roll. If you actually notice that you still have star glitter, might as well use it. Might as well use it because who knows when the next opportunity will come for you to use it. So there is one. And then who knows? Maybe this, this one roll is going to be clean. You never know. You never really no, so close. It's purple. It's the Wiz of Favonius Codex. So there you have it. There. At least this account has and the Instructor Brooch. Might as well get that. And then go back to bag. Alright, so there. This is now three Masterless Stardust. So Star Glitter. Alright, thus you have a 15. If you had 75, you could have probably done one more. And then that's 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 it. That is it for that. And then the next step is, yeah, you're done. All right, after you do your inventory, you escape, you quit the game, confirm, and then you log out. Here, you log out, and then you do the whole process again. Yes, you can also register 
your email address here in game if you want it's up to you but you're gonna have to create a gmail account first that means you're gonna have to go all the way back you know step 65 is go back to step one and then you start all over again <laughs> all right huh <sighs> so that was that was long all right but that was beautiful so there you guys have it that is how you re-roll right now as of this date for for any character for Klee, for Zhao, for whichever characters to come and this is what my current situation looks like so I've re-rolled on at most already 68 accounts that I've actually taken into account so that's wonderful I guess and then you know if you do your accounting this is what it looks like and I have 14 I guess five stars as of currently you can do a this is a filter by the way so you can just you know remove blanks and then it will show you all the accounts that has five stars on it this is for accounts that has venti which is an animal character fire stands for the luke or any pyro five stars you got ice is you know this and then you can also do another filter you know if you want to see what accounts that you have that have diluke only so i have three out of 60 wow it's that's there i have more ventis i'm like i can show you how many ventis i got so here i have one two three i have five accounts with venti i have one account with venti gene and also let me just show you how many accounts i have with chi i think it's three three yeah and then four and my first account my main account has the luke chi chi so that's a cool combo right there so yeah this is helpful and then you know especially with the working on i'm like if you're working on here it'll highlight this so you don't get blinded by oh i, I messed up so it's right here so that's why this is the or that's actually wo so this is version two all right so you got you guys got the better version uh, so yeah that is this then here you can see you know the accounts that you're working on how long that it took oh yeah by the way yeah i forgot to do that last part time end all right we're gonna you have to do that can we still do that might as well all right so here we go time and boom this one took 45 minutes 34 seconds so normally ideally in my case i can do it in 34 33 35 minutes if i focus if i focus if i'm not making a tutorial video so yeah this is the spreadsheet it is beautiful hopefully you guys do enjoy using it and if you don't use the maximum potential of it that's fine use it as how you would just make sure you make your own copy so you can actually edit stuff and whatnot anyway guys that is gonna be it for this very long video hope you guys found value out of this remember links in the description join my discord it's epic it's new and it's fun all right until next time see ya